Leaks, huh, what are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Let me say it again. Leaks, huh, what are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Hello, right bags, it's Jade. I'm back again with another famous leaks video. The clickbait clown is here to brighten up your day. I'm gonna actually talk about what I really think will make it to 1.0 today, going over every leak I've ever done. It's just a bit of fun. There's no guarantees of anything in life just because stuff appears in the game dev files. But that said, there's plenty of evidence that suggests a lot of the stuff I've spoken about in the past, especially some of the newer stuff, if they're adding it this late in the game, it's gonna be there at 1.0 release. So I am gonna concentrate on all the unreleased bugs, the references in the game files, what was shown in previous builds, as well as items, weapons, and armor. Maybe not so much on locations other than the undershed area, which is an absolute certainty. Whether I'm right or wrong, I want you guys to let me know come 1.0. So let's deep dive into the potential for 1.0. Let's start with creatures. Wall Striders were part of the Koi Pond update when it first hit over 18 months ago now, but then they were removed alongside leeches. I do think we're gonna see Wall Striders return and it's pretty obvious that they're gonna be part of the upper pond alongside the leeches. The Water Strider itself didn't actually have any animations, but it obviously had an in-game model as well as some of the parts needed to make the harpoon. So we'll cover that in a little while too. The leeches, they were even more advanced. They had proper animations, proper attacks and sounds. And again, they're used to make other materials, equipment and smoothies. So I absolutely 100% think both of these creatures will actually be there for 1.0. In my opinion, the upper pond is going to be another excuse to go into the water, but it's going to be harder. So it's going to mean we're going to be using our armors and weapons. It won't be something you just keep on the arm stands for most of the game. The harpoon gun uses both of the creature's parts to craft and make. And yay, I'll get to use my thumbnails I've had pretty much for a year and a half. There were some leaked images of what appeared to be a brown ant, but I've always believed this is going to be the queen ant. Queen Ant is 100% guaranteed to come. I do believe it's got the armor assets for it now. The devs have had it on the feature board for over a year and a bit. They've only just removed it to get ready for 1.0 to give us a bit of mystery. Spoken a lot about pheromones. That's going to be still part of the 1.0 release. It looks like the Ant Queen is going to be part of that. Does look like there is going to be another ant hill in the upper yard. You can see it here, the upper ant hill, as well as obviously we've got the under deck area. And I know people surmising that yes, maybe brown ants would come from these images, but it was tied to the boss creature, the black ant queen. And that's all but confirmed because in the dev files, it lists some of the black ants as maybe minions as part of the boss fight when we do fight the ant queen. Obviously we'll take a look at the armor a bit later as well, but this is what the ant queen armor set is gonna look like too. So yeah, no, absolutely no brown ants but certainly another ant hill in the upper yard with the ant queen maybe residing there and yes mantises are definitely coming you're not making art you're not making the armor and weapons so late in the day for the game if you're not going to include it they obviously removed this when it got leaked but we are getting a full set and there's various different references also to the animations of the mantis how it's going to use some sort of pollen stun shot and it looks like it might have mosquitoes as mobs that will spawn around it so this is pretty much a blossom mantis they're small you can get about five or six of them on your fingers if you held them and so that's why i think that will be the one that will come rather than a big brown one like this or a big green one the in-game art was there as well. I'm 100% certain that the Mantises will come as a boss fight in the future. There's even references to its terranium where it will probably live in more exotic or hotter conditions. So literally the other day told you guys that I think wasps have been removed completely and we might not see them back as they removed them from the key art. Now the devs have said they want the key art to better reflect what's actually in the game at the moment. So I was kind of having a bit of a joke with this one. Do I really think that wasps won't be in the game? Well, I think that maybe they will still. I reckon about 80% chance they're still going to be there. Yes, we haven't ever really seen much going on other than the wasp nest that eventually got turned into the bee nest. And obviously the wasps have now been replaced by the bees in the key art. But don't forget, it's only a month or so ago that I found more brand new references to wasps. Wasp chitin and wasp legs. And I've never seen these in any of the other times I've looked into stuff. So this is newly added. 
So yeah, I'm going to go with was being maybe 80% chance added into the game. But Hornets, 10% chance. I don't think we're going to have both. I think it's just a mistake that was listed on the wiki. So what about crickets? Well, again, part of the game files from day one was raw cricket meat, and it's still in there now, but it hasn't got any art, and we've never seen any other references. I think this is one of the creatures that maybe might come as 1.0, I don't know, I'm still really on the fence. If it is going to come, obviously it might be an upper yard variant only. We've never seen much other reference to them. And have we already got enough smaller little creatures like that? Will they be the size of bombardier beetles or are they going to be more like termites? I'm not too confident in raw crickets or crickets coming to the game in 1.0. So I'm going to list it as only 20%. Next, we've got Wicklow. Is this going to be a dragonfly or is it going to be a butterfly? The devs have confirmed that butterflies would come to the game. You can see there it's a chunk, it's a head and it's a wing. There's references also to a brand new bow as well for the Wicklow. So I'm going to say I think it's going to be a butterfly rather than a dragonfly. Doesn't mean dragonflies might not be added, but I'm not as confident as I used to be that a dragonfly would be a boss. There is a tier 3 sword in the Undershed in the latest game files, and do remember there used to be a sword called the Dragonfly Slayer that was in the very first game files that got leaked. But I actually think that one got converted into the Broodmother's weapon, and so obviously they catch, spiders catch dragonflies too. So yeah, I'm still only 50% sure we'll see dragonflies added, but 100% sure since Adam said butterflies would be added to the game. But obviously a brand new sword and a bow added as well. The most recent leaks show that there's going to be silverfish added to the game. And I'm going to say that, yeah, since they've been added only recently, 100% I think the silverfish will make it. There could be a good chance silverfish is actually a boss. Now, as far as I'm aware, silverfish are meant to be harmless, but they do eat lots of rugs and kind of carpets and stuff like that if they can get a chance to. They have got scales and that ties into the other stuff that we found, a tier set of tools or weapon or something that uses fangs, scales and tails. The code name for that was Limerick and so I think that's what it's going to be. The silverfish is the Limerick and it is going to be a boss. Moving on to the Black Widow, yes, 100% coming to the game. We saw the Black Widow spiderlings when the Into the Wood update dropped, then they got removed, and recently we've seen the card for the spider, Black Widow. Now, I thought it'd be a boss, but it does look like it is going to be just a regular creature, as there is a gold variant of it as well. So maybe something that lives in the Undershed area, and is going to obviously be a big upgrade compared to some of the other spiders. So next up, another creature 100% I think is coming is earwigs. You can see there we've got parts and a pincer. Now, this has only just been something that's been added most recently. So again, new stuff being added at this late stage means that it's coming. It doesn't mean that it's going to be in dev hell or they're going to change ideas. I mean, nothing is ever certain, but I do think that anything that's been added at this late stage it is a mistake and it is part of the game already. Obviously, since we're going to be exploring the Undershed, then this would be the perfect home for something like that, the earwigs. Which leaves us pretty much lastly onto the berry monster. Is it going to be something we see in the game? I think so. I think it will be some mad creature that we'll face off against, maybe as one of the very final bosses. It's been in there since day one, although in a laboratory that you can't access unless you're using cheats. And I think it's terrifying. All the game is focused on mixing stuff up. We've already seen infected creatures. So yeah, I'm expecting to see an infected berry monster 100%. Other players have said that it'd be great if this was a mimic, that every time you went to get an actual blueberry or berry in the hedge, that maybe instead it might be one of these guys. But a little rip, as I've mentioned in a previous video, I don't think we're going to be seeing the abominations added as actual playable or characters that we'll fight off against. And then quickly, last ones I've mentioned with creatures actually is pets. Gnats as a pet. It was in the game files listed under pets that we would maybe be having gnats as a future pet. But obviously they never added it. We've only got weevils and aphids. And lastly, mosquito eggs are coded into the game. So there could be an opportunity for us to go and get the mosquito eggs to use as crafting, just like with the ant eggs. I've got a feeling both of them will eventually appear in the game, but maybe, maybe only about 80%. So I'm going to rattle off as many of the items that we found in game files and whether or not I think they're actually going to appear in 1.0. Let's go. Start with armor, mantis armor, 100% yeah, it's going to be there. It's absolutely got art for it, it's got models for it, for sure. 
It's got three pieces as well, makes it different from the Broodmother mask and obviously the Termite chest piece. And there is a Skive associated with it as well. So is this going to be a tool or a weapon? I think it's going to be a weapon. The Water Strider skates absolutely, I think, will be there, allowing us to walk across water. It's an OP item to get across, so it makes sense it'd be in maybe the harder pond. And something I've shown off in actual previous videos gameplay working is the harpoon that needed a lot more work. So maybe they've changed it or chopped it and moved it, but I still think that's going to be part of the pond in the future. With at least two types of ammo, we've got venom harpoon bolts, bone harpoon bolts, and even an upgrade for the harpoon that adds a sight to it to make it a tactical harpoon. The ant armor, yep, confirmed. I think that'll be there as well. Not a big fan of the design. It kind of looks a bit derpy to me, but you know, at least it's something a bit different, I guess. And obviously this might have not have been the finished product, but a full set. Wasp nest, I guess so. If wasps are going to be added to the game, they've got to come from somewhere. So eventually, yeah. Then moving on to some items that were in the base game when it first launched. Obviously files hidden, but we haven't seen anything about, including this. This is meant to be a leaf blower. It does damage from distance and it is obviously using a motion of using like a waving technique with just obviously a clover leaf. I don't know. I have no idea whether or not this will actually be added in. I always thought this might end up being something we can use to get across the yard. Maybe it could be like an, an upgrade for the glider. Or back in the day, I used to think it might be needed to blow away maybe dog hairs or something like that. They went through the trouble of naming something and making a placeholder function for it. So that is a bit interesting. I'm struggling to see what it could really be used for. So I'm going to say no. Likewise, I'm not sure if we ever will see boxing gloves. We kind of already have them in the game, but instead of them actually being a armor set or weapon set, they are the mutation. They used to be berry gloves and ant gloves in the game, but I do think that they've been canceled and instead we've just got the mutation now that gives you that option to do unarmed damage. In one of the first leak videos I did showing off the Koi Pond, there was also things like Boomerang. I think the Boomerang's been cancelled. The mechanics of it were just probably too much. And again, we saw animations for it, but we never saw it implemented anywhere else or any talk about it. There is meant to be a leaf spotting scope in the game. I think they got rid of that and they just used the peep function. Then we've got something called the Scuba Mask, and it seemed to be like an ultra upgrade for swimming. It even had a perk associated with it. So could this be an end game item that we get? I don't know, I'm still going to go no. I think we've got all the water stuff we need. Unless it was a reward for completing the game so that you could just swim underwater happily for pretty much as long as you wanted. And of course, what about the wizard's hat? This was shown off as I think it was the haze or the mushroom update. We saw it's kind of green. It's got like a little kind of icon in the middle of it. So it definitely looks like a wizard's hat. And I showed that you could actually spawn it in and it would just look like a regular marksman's cap. I think this will appear. I just obviously think they decided to leave it for later. So what about the green shield bug shield that I showed you guys? I thought it'd be perfect for it, but it does look like actually this shield might just use parts of the green shield bug, but it won't necessarily be called the green shield bug, or it's not going to be the main theme. Instead, in the game files, the shield is associated with the silverfish at the moment. So it looks like the silverfish will be a boss and you'll be able to craft maybe a brand new shield from it, but you're going to need green shield bug parts to help craft it. And lastly, in the game files from ages ago, there was something called the Ant Confuser Bomb. We don't know if that's just the Shinobi Sneeze that it got turned into, but I can't find the Ant Confuser Bomb anymore. And we know that the Pheromone Control, well, that might be something that's part of maybe an Ant Pheromone Bomb or Ant Confuser Bomb in the future. But it's a bit specific just to be for one creature. So basically, I ain't got a clue. Could we see another food element added to the game? We've got spicy, we've got salt, we've got fresh, and then we've obviously got quartzite to upgrade your weapons. But what about sour? Sour, I think, I do believe, only popped up recently, unless I'm wrong, as well as something called pop candy. So that could be another variant, or just something very similar, or maybe that is the name of it. Just like you get the spicy shards from spicy cha-chas, maybe you get sour candy from the pop candy, the pop rocks. But then again, Pop Rocks is kind of explosive. It's the ones that explode in your tongue and your mouth. So are they usually sour? But either way, I think, yeah, these will make it, I reckon, around 80% chance that these are going to actually appear in the game since they've been added recently and they've got art for it already. So are we going to see honey added to the game as well as some of these other features like hardened sprigs, resin or nectar slurry? 
well, let's divert into them a little bit. I showed you guys obviously the ice traps and the honey traps that have been in the game for a long time if you go through the older versions from 15, 16 months ago. But obviously they got removed and with the implementation of the base traps we've got now, like the turrets, it was surprised to see that honey and ice wasn't actually added to the game. We obviously have that big honey pot on the table, but that doesn't mean it's gonna necessarily be added. It might be just a bit of an in-game joke or reference to us always assuming that honey would make it. So I have to admit, I've gone from 100% believing that honey would eventually appear to maybe only 50 to 60% sure. I still think it'd be cool to have some of the traps like the honey traps to slow down creatures, but I think the devs are probably gonna be focusing on other things now that they've already added a few traps. It still doesn't make sense to me that you would even bother adding a honey pot to the picnic table if you weren't going to add some sort of honey to it in the future. But like I said, maybe they're having a bit of a joke with us. So for a long time now, I thought that hardened sprigs and resin wouldn't make it to the game as it's been in the game files a long time, but we've never seen any kind of talk reference to it. And we kind of got systems to upgrade. Quartzite, obviously, for our weapons. And then for the armors now, we've got berry leather and pupa. But there is something crucial missing. There is the final kind of upgrade. It's a bit weird that they go up to like level nine and not level 10. So originally I was gonna say zero chance of seeing this, that I felt like they had sap and they had the other stuff and we would maybe see it. But maybe, maybe it is gonna be there. Maybe it will be on something in the upper yard. And so have more use of the tier three ax and hammer to go and grab some of these items to get that final upgrade to tier 10 for weapons and armor. So I'm gonna go from about 0% chance to around 60% chance. What about Nectar Slurry? I do think that could be something we could have for Thames in the future. Just like obviously we need the Mushroom Slurry to get Weevils and Grass Slurry to go ahead and get the Aphids. So could Nectar be something that would be using for other creatures? And yeah, I think this will still make an appearance. I think we are going to get some more pet interactions and stuff. And possibly they have said they'll look at mounts, but it's far on their list. So I'm going to go with 90% chance of seeing this added. And right next to it, you can see we've got the coziness meter. This was something people were able to spawn in with the Into the Wood update, I do believe. And yeah, it's in every other survival game. In Rust, in Ark, in Valheim. Whenever you've got decorations or you've got a camping fire nearby, you regenerate your health a little bit quicker. I can definitely see them adding this in the future, given there's so many decoration pieces and now with the base defense as well. Likewise, the pheromone broadcaster, which we've mentioned extensively now, I think that's going to be something that we use to maybe draw ants to our location or to keep them away. So I've mentioned it briefly already, but the ice traps, I do think are going to be coming. I think we'll see these as part of something we need to get out of the undershed area. And I do kind of hope that honey traps do make it. I would really hate it if we've got all these references to honey, but we don't see it. I think it's a cool trap to have slowing down creatures rather than simply using the puppet or the explosive burr. I think it's a good way to maybe mix things up a little bit, having either slow traps or the ice ones, which make you go faster. One thing I reckon they might cancel or not use is the catapult. Only because the web bouncers kind of do the same thing now in turning a direction. So I guess this could still be a base defense feature, but what is it really achieving just pushing some creatures back? And it's only a one-time use thing. You have to go and reset it every single time. So can you imagine having a bunch of these and then they get used once, then the bugs will simply just walk over them two seconds later. So I reckon this has been canceled completely. Something I don't think we'll see until after 1.0 is more advanced kind of electrical kind of crafting benches, stuff that basically needs power. And part of that would be the plasma orb, which is meant to be a trap that you place. And obviously it would shock maybe ants. In its most basic form here, it's hard to tell what it could really do, but it wasn't doing any damage to the ants when I tried luring them over to it. So I think it will come, but not until after 1.0 in some sort of electrical update. And then we've got things like the pebblet dumper, which I always thought was maybe just storage for your pebbles, and they just decided to not bother and have it inside chests. But I still think it could be a siege weapon that is actually meant to damage creatures. But again, I feel like it'd be pretty limited use, so I don't think that's actually going to come to the game ever. And then we're on to things like rugs, more decoration, and I think, yes, absolutely we will get some sort of rug decoration for the game. The mite one, and of course the bumblebee one. 
but obviously they're going to be much smaller. There'll be tiny little things that you can place on just one ceiling tile. One thing I'm not too sure if we are going to have as a resource is cattail fluff. They went to the effort of making an actual resource for it, a big item, a fluffy ball, but it was larger than the character itself. And I just feel like it'd be too hard to gather. What are you going to do? Shoot them off or climb on top of them? You can only just about see it in some of the footage here from the pond. But yeah, when they was actually on the cattails, the cattail fluff, it was obviously much smaller. So maybe it was just down to sizing, but I'm just struggling to see what we'd be using it for. Unless it's a resource to craft the harpoon and maybe the water strider skates, etc. Clearly, I think we're going to get gunpowder clumps and dark mold clumps, and that's going to be part of 1.0. They're there in the game files in the most recent leaks, so obviously it's going to be something that we're going to be crafting to maybe break through to something, or maybe even part of upgrading our weapons and our armors to the ultimate form. Definitely for me, part of the under shed area. That is part of the brand new Underlab area song that got also leaked in the game files most recently. Part two of them, in fact. If you went over to the doorway by the shed, you would encounter this track too. So really spooky and them two tracks are clearly going to be part of the new area. So there we go. That is everything we've ever, I think, seen in the actual game files themselves. There's lots of speculation about other creatures and other items or other uses that we might want, like a proper wing glider, maybe a flying suit. And of course, there's in-game references to a whole bunch of stuff as well. But we haven't actually seen that in the game files. There's been nothing ever leaked or shown. So that is pretty much it. If there's something I've missed, do leave it in the comment section down below. Out of the creatures, what do you want to see most? Out of the items, what do you want to see most? And do remember, once again, it's just some speculation. I think my guesses are going to be pretty accurate, 100% of stuff that's coming. And obviously stuff that I don't know 100% if it's coming, then yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And you guys can all come back and tell me whether I was right or wrong when the full 1.0 release hits later on this year. Until next time, Ratbags. As always, I'll see you later.